live from Graycom Studios in the Charm City, Baltimore, Maryland. It's Loyola Tonight with Philip Reed Francisco. Tonight we've got President of Loyola University, Maryland, Father Brian Lenane. I'm your announcer, Kevin Collins. And now, here he is, one last time, Philip Reed Francisco. We got a show. We got, I, I can't even hear myself. Welcome back, everybody. This is my last episode of Loyola Tonight. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Guys, I, I, I will be here in your hearts. Aww. We love you. <laughs> Tonight, we've got Father Lenin, everybody. Father Lenin! I love Father. I love Father Nate. He's great. He's great. Glad to see everybody. You guys are ready to catch up with some news, everybody? All right. Cool. Cool. Hope. I really hope this is, this is the best one we have so far. Oh, it will be. It will be. Turn up. Graduation is around the corner for some seniors. No. Four. No. Four. Did you hear it? Four. No. Four. For some seniors. I don't even know if I'm going to do it. It's a time to reflect back on your four years here at Loyola. Celebrate your accomplishments with your family and friends. You know? And last but not least, get ready to renew your Netflix account! <laughs> Unemployment at its best, baby. Yeah, yeah. baby. Relying on Hounds for Hire. Relying on Hounds. True story, by the way. Hounds for Hire is a site. Um, the, the career. Wolf, wolf. My dad thought that Hounds for Hire was an employment site that only hired dogs. Oh. I'm being serious. I'm actually being very serious. Hashtag. The dogs are beating me in the, in the unemployment race. So, hashtag things, things that dads say. Thank you very much. All right, let's moving on. It was announced that Mark K. Shriver, Senior Vice President for the Strategic Initiatives for the Charity Save the Children. Good cause, everybody. Yeah. Good cause. We'll give the commencement address at uh, Loyola's um, 162nd graduation ceremony. Oh, yeah. All right, isn't that cool? Listen to this, though. Mark was the little brother to uh, the Maria Shriver, right? You know Maria Shriver, right, anyone? Yeah. Who was once married to actor and former governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. What if, what if Arnold Schwarzenegger was our commencement speaker? Students, faculty, family, and friends. <laughs> Moodle is down. Moodle is down. <laughs> scroll down, scroll down. I eat, I eat greyhounds for breakfast at Boulder. I'll meet you in the chopper at the quad, whatever. I'll be back, I'll be back. All right, into baseball news, New York Yankees pitcher Michael Pineda. Who likes the Yankees, everybody? <laughs> You're... You're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like the the Bronx Bombers after this. Uh, Michael Pineda was caught using pine tar from his what? neck, what? not, not, not from his hand, but his neck uh, during a game against the Red Sox. Phil, what? I'm trying to tell the story here. On the <laughs> it's illegal to uh, use any kind of substance to get a better grip on the ball. If you know what I'm talking about. No, I was, I was waiting for like, oh yeah, no. Whatever. Anyway, um, it's, it's illegal to use uh, anything. So if you want to cheat with pine tar on your neck, Michael Pineda, I advise you to wear a really, really fancy turtleneck. Yeah. This is a picture of him wearing a, a turtleneck. That's how, that's how Loyal Tonight does it. All right, cool. All right, guys, who's ready for tonight's uh, cheesy joke? Who likes cheesy jokes? Facts hit cheese. We'll go somewhere where there's cheese. I love, it ain't easy being cheesy. Capital City's played at, um, at Loyola Palooza. Did you guys, inf had, that was fun, right? You guys enjoy that? So good, so good. But choosing them was a safe and sound decision. Oh! Did you see what I did there? The writing here is great, it's excellent. It's excellent. All right, now, uh, what's the next story? What do we got? All right, the coffee chain, Starbucks. You guys know that, that chain for the yeah. coffee chain? It's, 
it's it's a big it's a big it's a big thing. All right, uh, Starbucks announced that they'll be expanding their evening menu by selling more various foods, and for the first time, alcoholic beverages. <laughs> Oh man, oh man. Which is why, it's, so it's basically another reason why Starbucks gets your name really, really wrong when you order your coffee, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Am I right? Uh, is, 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 is Richard's macchiato here? No, I'm Phil and I want an espresso. I don't want that. Do another one, do another one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, is, is Christian, Christian Walk, Walk, Walker here? Who's no. that? No, it's Christopher Walken, everybody. <laughs> from my understanding, from my understanding, I'm insulted by, by your mistake. What we, what we need here is more cowbell. Guess what? More. I got a You want fever. more? You want more? And the only prescription is more cowbell. Why am I doing this? Why? All right, uh, 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 is, is Will Crosby here? Oh, Will Cry, Bill Cosby, everybody! Yeah. Zippity do the people put their hands in the pocket and the kids say to do. All right, I'm done with that. That was my Bill Cosby. Yeah. One more? What do you want? What do you want from me? Do you want me to do Bane? What will break first, your spirit or your grande? <laughs> one, all right, last one. Last one. My last one. This is my last one. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look through the notes here. I did not order my frappuccino from that woman. I did not have espresso relations with that man. All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. That's it, that's it, finally, finally. It was announced that David Letterman, the iconic host of CBS's Late Show, will be retiring in 2015, guys. No, God! Later on, it's okay, it's okay, though. Later on. I hate change, too. Later on, though, it was announced that Stephen Colbert of The Colbert Report on Comedy Central will be Letterman's successor. Not bad. Not bad. I, uh... I had the opportunity to work with Dave, and I just want to say thanks to Dave. Uh, you, you did a lot for me. And, uh, and that Stephen Colbert is going to kill it. He, he's going to do a great job. But, but if Letterman is retiring, and Colbert is taking over The Late Show, Comedy Central has an opening for a late night talk show slot at 11.30. And I'm 100% certain I'm unemployed after graduation because of dogs. Yeah! Come back, Father Brian Lenin, everybody! Thank you. I am I'm so excited. My first and last guest on Loyola tonight is the president of Loyola University, Maryland. Please give a warm welcome to Father Lenane, everybody! <laughs> Father, thank you so much. Oh man. Wow, how are you? I'm good. I'm really excited to be here. Thanks for taking time out of your schedule. I know you're a busy man. You have Never too busy for the, the public and the media. Oh. You know. Hey, thank you. Um, this is your first time. Here at uh, Graycom. This right? is. I'm really impressed. It's yeah. really quite amazing. Yeah, it's great. Oh. Have you ever watched any of the shows? I have. Have yes. you seen this show before? I have not. Oh, I, no. I, I, think, I think it's on after my bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, actually, funny story. I did, I did a skit with you. I actually emailed you and you said it was cool. I did like a remix with you and Miley Cyrus. So oh. you should check it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Hope. Um, self-promotion. <laughs> <laughs> um, before I ask you about the state of Loyola, um, I've seen you at the fac a lot. I see, I see you at the fac a lot. 
What do you exactly do at the fact? I always want to know, like, what do you do? What, what kind of exercise? Do you listen to music while you, you work out? I do not do insanity. I, uh, <laughs> I, I alternate, and I tend to do, like, aerobics one day. So okay. I'll do, um, I, w I work out on the treadmill or the elliptical machine, and then I do strength training the other days. Oh, we should Does it, I mean, you see me, but you don't see me exercising. <laughs> well, no, I always like see him like, hey, Father, how's it going? That's not good. I know. We should lift sometime. I need a lift. A lot. <laughs> um, so going from athletics, uh, Loyola transitioned into the Patriot League this year, and um, it's full of great academic schools. How do you think Loyola handled um, transitioning from the MAC to the Patriot League? I think that it w went w very well. I mean, yeah. I think that we found the league a little more challenging than we yeah. thought, although not with lacrosse, obviously, but that's a, uh, a sport one. that... Number, number one, one, number yes. one, guys. Yeah. Go Hounds. Go Hounds. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, on, in terms of the... Um, it, it, it's it's an easier league than the MAC because the travel distance are shorter, okay. and they really um, do the do the team travel around academic schedules so that it, it just works out. I think it's a lot smoother in that regard, and it's better for the athletes. Okay, um, seems to be you know it seems to have generated a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah. It, it's it's really interesting how many um, prospective students are aware of the league and are really happy with the sort of company that we're keeping, as it were, yeah. the, those those institutions. I think it's a great. Great thing for Loyola. Are you excited for the men's lacrosse team? They look pretty good. And the women's. You and know the women's, yeah. They look yeah, pretty good. Absolutely. Go Hounds. Absolutely. It's um, been very exciting. Yeah, and they're hosting the, the Patriot League Championship. That, that'll be great. Ridley. Yeah, yeah that'll it's going to be, be good for the school. Um, you've been president since 2005. Is that That's correct? Right. Yeah. What's, what's the best perk about being the president here at Loyola? Any, any cool perk? Um... I don't know, anything. I think, <laughs> I think parking, par parking. parking is good. Parking <laughs> is good. Uh, but I tend to drive. I, I walk around. I just walk over from my house here. I think yeah. my house is the best park. Yeah. I mean, like, lovely house. Beautiful yeah, house. It's, it's a beautiful house. And, and uh, it's a great fireplace in the wintertime. And it's, yeah. you know, I mean, it's like really sweet. I'll be, I'll be, when this gig is up, it'll be hard to move on. I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. Oh, can I? I, I I'm, I'm excited for um, the president's. Uh, you have like a this, this, the barbecue, right, for seniors, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always do that. I think it's on Tuesday of senior week. Tuesday. Oh, so, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last year we had almost 700 kids. Oh wow. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> um, and there's two beer and everything. There's beer and everything. Oh my. I think like I think like two. <laughs> okay. But you know, so <laughs> maybe if you have a friend who'll give you. Oh his man. Or her no, no. Or Everyone's good here. All the see, all, all you guys are good, right? All you. Yeah. yeah. Come on. <laughs> Don't. Do not be afraid to cheer. We can all cheer. We're all cheers. How's it going? Um, in 2008, you um, had a plan. Uh, it was called Grounded in Tradition, Educating um, for the Future. Mm -hmm. And um, that plan was from 2008 to 2013. How do you think we've progressed from that um, five years ago? We've made dramatic progress. One of the things that happened at the time was um, just as we made the plan, and we had worked on it since I was, had become president mm -hmm. um, and gone through faculty governance and talk to students and all those sorts of things. Just when we voted on it in the board was in 2008, the fall of 2008, when the economy tanked. Yeah. So we had to move more slowly on some of the key initiatives, but we've made dramatic uh, progress. I think one of the things that we worked on very carefully uh, was the first year program called mm -hmm. Messina. Yeah. And um, in the fall, coming up in the fall, two thirds of the incoming class, the class of 2018, mm -hmm. will be enrolled in Messina oh, in wow. the following year, all of the first year students. Hey. So to do yeah. that. <coughs> yeah. Little hounds, we're getting the bucks. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <coughs> so the quality of the studio audience is amazing. Yeah, I mean, oh yeah. man. <laughs> they're, they're, they make the show. Thanks guys for being here, guys. <laughs> they, 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 they make the show. I, I'm just here to. But they um, make you look good. It's they, true. They I mean, make you look it's good. A, it's a little peeps, you know. You so, yeah. <laughs> no, but I want to the science center. Yeah. The the work we've done on York Road, which I think has been great. Mm -hmm. um, the athletic stuff that you know, transitioning to the Patriot League, um, uh, investing in the in, in REITs, so that you know, there's the, the, just in the uh, Messina piece that required us to create 18 new faculty positions, which okay. is a huge investment on the yeah. part of the university. So. Wow. Um, we're looking forward that it will, 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 will wrap up in 15, and uh, once, once we have the uh, Messina fully implemented and we're beginning this, pro this summer to okay. start the process of reflecting on the next strategic plan. What are our next strategic goals? Sounds great, guys. <laughs> Strong shoots, well lived. Yeah. Um, my last, my, the past four years have been 
one of the best four years uh, of my life. Um, yeah, Loyola! Thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you, Dan. Um, how have you seen Loyola grow from being a small college in, in Maryland to one of the top universities in, on the East Coast um, during your reign here? Well, you know, I, I think that, that uh, one of the things to say that um, while I've been president, w w in, those, in that, those nine years, we've seen the applications double for the freshman wow. class. Wow. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, this year, this year, just just um, shy of fourteen thousand applications for, wow. for the class of two thousand eighteen. Oh and the the other thing that's really interesting that that um, at the time that I've been president, um, and because I say that that. I get blamed for things that I don't do, so I take <laughs> credit for things that I don't do too. So this is nothing that I've done, but um, we have we have diversified our recruitment efforts to so like geographically as well as, you know, culturally, socioeconomically. So, in the top ten feeder schools, feeder states. I'm sorry, uh, in the last in the last class and the the class before it, so the class of 2016, um, Florida and California made the top ten feeder states on their own. They had been, like, they would come in together, even though they're quite, you yeah. know, they're very far apart, right? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so, so that's, they're still in the top ten, and this year, Puerto Rico is in, in the top ten wow. feeder states. Wow. S and so, so I think that you're going to see, and we've really been working at that, we've been working in Puerto Rico, I went down to Puerto Rico, yeah. no, that's another nice perk, too. <laughs> I went down to Puerto Rico to, like, you know, do a recruitment tour and to encourage kids wow, to come yeah. to, to, right. to Loyola, and, um, yeah, so it's good. I'm just again, thank you for so like so much for just like my four years here have been amazing. Like I wouldn't be able to do this show anywhere else. I don't think. So I just want to thank Father Nain. Great work. We're doing awesome things here. <laughs> awesome things. Um, down the road, where do you see Loyola um, in the near future and stuff like that? Number one in the nation. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think that you know that our. Um, our goal is to be the leading Catholic comprehensive, that is master's level university in the country. I think okay. we've been making real progress with that in, in our strategic plan. We'll continue to shoot for that. So just to be recognized, you know, for the excellent education that we offer, the great experience that we offer our students. So um, I, think, I think that that's what we'll continue to work on and we'll continue, continue to see, you know, Loyola evolve as a, as a very hot school, hot school in the middle Atlantic, hot school on the Northeast, and then more and more nationally. I think, that, I think that's the, what we're gonna see in the near future. I don't want to leave Loyola. I don't want to leave. We don't Loyola. want you to go. <laughs> I don't want to leave. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Um, before I let you go, I always do this thing called rapid fire. Mm -hmm. Are you down? Just for like a David <laughs> Letterman kind of like gimmick it's thing. Yeah. Sort of a little bit. It's like I'm okay. going to shoot out really quick questions, and you have to give me like a really quick response. Okay. Is that cool? You ready? That's not. That's contrary to sort of like the Ignatian discernment, but I'll, 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 I'll do it. Okay. Oh man! All right, I'm probably gonna regret this. All right, I know I'm Pictionary. I, oh man, that would've been that would be too intense. Um, all right, so first question: favorite meal? Pizza. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Favorite sport? All things Loyola. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> That's my lax. I. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, yeah. Good. Yeah, go hounds. Go hounds. Um, Unleash the hounds. Unleash yeah. the hounds. Unleash, um, <laughs> favorite, uh, favorite movie? Um, Some Mother's Son. Okay, Who, who's in that film actually? Um, Helen Mirren. Okay. And it's, uh, it's a, a story about a, um, a mother, middle class Irish woman in Northern Ireland whose son go, joins the IRA. Oh, wow. And yeah, they need one of the hunger strikers. And it's, it's really, it's very well done. I really like it. I go back to it a lot. Yeah, I gotta yeah. check that out. Is that on Netflix? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe probably. Not. Yeah, probably. probably. All right. Um, Aaron, I mean, I'd watch her read the phone book. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the best. Um, favorite season? Summer. Summer? No yeah. kids. No, no, no kids. Beach. You, you, get, beach? You, get, you get your machine at the fact every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Favorite favorite place to travel to? Paris. Paris. Yes. Do you speak French? Un peu. Je, je m'appelle Philippe. Je mange. Uh, that's all I know, really. That's it was a great accent. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I'm, you. I'm impressed. C'est formidable. <laughs> um, favorite song? At the moment? At the moment. Happy. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Recently, 
recently in great comedy. I saw it. You saw it? Yes. Well, the man so happy. <laughs> great com is going places. Yeah. Going places. What did you think of the video? Was it, was it fun? I thought it was good. Yeah. yeah. It was good. Yeah. You remember what was the um, the other one that, that 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 sort of was like not official, but that the kid did about. Um, like the New York State, New York. Oh, uh, Loyola State of Mind. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. That was yeah. good. Yeah, that yeah. was good. That was. That was I wanted to show that at admission events, but they wouldn't let me. Really? <laughs> yeah, because they talked about like some of the gin joints, the gin mills. Uh, the, some students, I know you'd really call it, but <laughs> frequent. <laughs> Last question. Last question. Do you like to dance? If I like to dance, would I have become a priest? <laughs> Oh, do you have any cool dance moves or no? That would be no. No? <laughs> yeah. Not even a little like... Not even a little like, <laughs> uh-uh. But if you'd like to show your, you know, I mean, well, just I, show, I mean, yeah. knock yourself out. I always dance, we always dance here. I'm Father Nate, thank you so much. My pleasure, thank I really so enjoyed it. For, for coming. Thank you, Father Nate, everybody, the president of thank Loyola, you. Maryland. Stick around, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Before I do um, my final sign off, here's a, I know, I know. Here, here's a quick uh, compilation. No, no. Here's a quick compilation of what happened this past year. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I, I really hope you guys enjoy that. That uh, you guys enjoy that video. We love you, Phil. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, before uh, we had a lot of good times here on the show. Uh, there's so many, the best. I know. There's so many people I want to thank. Uh, I want to thank. Uh, first, I want to thank all the people who did all those really ridiculous skits, from like Fernando Lepu to the Evergreen guy. Who was that guy? To uh, to my friends who had to walk from class, Andres. Rob, uh, Peter, uh, Dre doing the do's and don'ts of Valentine's Day. Not, not the do's, but the don'ts. Everyone do the skit. You guys are the best. Um, I also want to thank um, all the guests uh, who took their time out of their schedules. Father Brian Linnan, ladies and gentlemen. He took, he, he came here. Big leagues, hey, you never know. Uh, you know, we had so many good guests, and they mean a lot to just to come here and put up with my stupidity. Um, I also want to thank the audience members, everybody. Yeah. Everyone who came here to watch this show. You guys are awesome. You guys make the show. I'm just, you know. So true. And uh, uh, I want to also want to thank Graycom Studios. Yeah. Guys, yeah. great. I, I, I've been at, I've, I've been at, I've been at Great Comp Studios since since uh, since fre the beginning of freshman year or sophomore year, and e every year it's growing and growing, and hopefully this can, you know, lead to something else. And I, I want to thank um, first I want to thank Dre Hemendra. My every every time every time I'm trying to write a script, he's been there. Every show he's been there. Dre, want to do a quick shout out? Can I get a quick prep set? Prep. Corner Prep. Um, I want to thank, also I want to thank Steve Solano, everybody. Yeah. Steve Solano did this. Yeah. Director, yeah. editors. Yeah. 
Wait, where's the Lauren, the Lauren Michaels of the production? And uh, and last last but not least, I want to thank um, Jay Dunmore. <laughs> Jay Dunmore, the operation manager uh, here at Graycom Studios. Here's one of the founders here. He, he, he made Graycom what it is today, and it's growing. It's 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 awesome, guys. You know, this has been a great a great show. Um, I started the show because, you know, I, I think late night talk shows are awesome. And I got to work on one, which is really cool. I, I'm so blessed. And it was something I wanted to bring to Loyola. You know, Loyola never had this kind of show. And uh, we kind of, we did it, you know? We did it in six episodes. Um, I, I know, and I'm, not, I'm not a Johnny Carson. I'm not a David Letterman or a Fallon. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just me. I'm just me, so um, tonight, tonight is not the end, but it's just the beginning. So with that, thanks for watching Loyal Tonight. I'm Phil B. Francisco. Good night, everybody.